Hi everybody, it's Reagan here, and today I have a Charlie Bradbury inspired makeup look. This one was a little hard because there's not a lot of pictures where you can really see any, like, real detail on her eyes, but I do know that she wears heavy eyeliner. So, I guess without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. Don't forget that my store is now open, and there's a lot of products that are coming into stock every day, so check it every day. There's always stuff that's going up there. Alright, let's get right into it. So to start this off, I'm going to apologize that I didn't get a video up yesterday, you guys. I got really busy and I didn't have time to, but I'm going to tell you that that episode shocked me so much. And I'm telling you right now that Mr. Ketch will not be able to kill all hunters because I think he has a thing for Mary. So to start off, I'm doing my regular routine with the priming. I did forget to show you guys that I primed my face, but I did. So I'm just doing my eyebrows and my eyelids right now. That's all you get to see. This is 35F, which is 35 ball, and I'm going to take this brown color. Like I said, there's not a lot of pictures where you can see really detailed Charlie makeup, but I try my best to go up one of the pictures, the one that you see. So I'm taking this kind of coppery, goldy color, and I'm going to apply this to my crease on both sides, I would say. And then I'm going to take this light, tannish, greenish color. It's almost a highlight color. And this is going to go all over my lid. And then I'm going to take the dark brown and I'm going to apply this both under my eyes. Now I have this um, Perfect Point Plus eyeliner pencil. I don't know what brand this is. But it's got a smudge on the end, and I'm just going to create a line. And I'm also going to tighten my end and all I didn't really actually go all the way in on my waterline more just the edges of it because I'm going to put white on the inner waterline and it does have smudge so I'm just smudging the eyeliner and making it less choppy and more smooth. Yeah, I'm going to put white on the inside so it doesn't look like my eyes are super small. And that's what I'm doing now with my Beverly Hills from my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. I'm just taking the lightest shade and I'm going to apply that to my waterline. Next time my Better Than Fast Lashes Too Face Extreme mascara, I'm just going to look like that. I did use step two, I'm just going to show you. Well, I guess I did. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I feel like this foundation just gives good coverage and it matches my skin pretty well. Now I've got my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and as always I'm just going to apply this to my Jake's nose and forehead. And I didn't use any highlight because it doesn't really look like she uses a lot. 
She uses more like blush colors, so next up I have the Too Faced Little Blush in Love Blush. I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheek. And then last but not least, I got a Mary Kay Signature um, Lip Gloss in the shade Sorbert. And that's the completed look and probably the shortest makeup video that I've ever done just because this one's fairly simple. It didn't take a lot of work to do. But anyways, if you do this look, I want you to go ahead and tweet it to me or Instagram it to me or Snapchat it to me. You can find all of those in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all next week. And bye.